20 जुलाई 2022 मॉर्निंग मुर्शली आम शांति बाप दादा मधुबन स्वीट चिल्ड्रन यू आर अ स्पिरिचुअल आर्मी नो वन अपार्ट फ्रॉम यू कैन प्रोटेक्ट द वर्ल्ड फ्रॉम रावण कीप दिस प्योर एंटॉक्सिकेशन क्वेश्चन विच चिल्ड्रन ग्रेटनेस डज बाप दादा प्रेज आंसर बाबा सीज इट इज द ग्रेटनेस ऑफ द डॉटर्स एंड बॉन्डेज मेज द इनोसेंट वंस हु रिमेंबर श्री बाबा इवन दो दे आर बेटन बाय बींग बेटन द कंटेंट ऑफ बी केम इवन ग्रेटर डस्टर्स ऑफ अटैचमेंट एंड ड्यू टू दिस द स्टेटस बी केम्स इवन हायर द फादर गिवस पेशेंस टू सच चिल्ड्रन चिल्ड्रन कंसिडर योर सेल्स टू बी सोल्स those bodies don't belong to you now that you belong to the father your stage will continue to become strong the lord is pleased with an honest heart song having found you we have found the whole world the earth and the sky all belong to us aap shanti children are sitting in front you know that you are an army whose army god's army what are you doing you are gaining victory or ravan this means that you are liberating the whole world from ravan's kingdom and establishing your own kingdom look how ordinarily you are sitting you aren't using your heads or feet but you are a very powerful army you are god's helpers god is incognito and you too are incognito he is also called the emperor your war is so powerful and incognito that you conquer the vices and thereby conquer the whole world you feel that just as that is an army so you too are a spiritual army you understand that everything for bharat depends on you the army if our army didn't exist others would conquer us those armies they sometimes chase away the kings and make it a military rule the military think that no one apart from them can protect their country you to have the pure pride that without you God's army no one can be protected from ravan look at that military and look at yourselves you are what you are you don't have any uniforms or weapons etc those people have so many uniforms they even disguise themselves with mask they make face masks at holi they also show the army of ram they have given hanuman the face of a monkey that is just playing with dolls you children know that you are now becoming free from the jail of ravan the five vices one is the jail of ravan there is also the jail of those who follow the dictates of ravan there are the chains of devotion then the chains of the gurus and then the chains of the husbands you became so unhappy by following ravan's directions you call out so much ravan it's harassing us a great deal you know that the more your soul stay in yoga the more you become free from sorrow innocent ones are assaulted a great deal they are beaten a great deal poor innocent ones call out what should we do now the father gives them patience it has been explained to you consider yourselves to be souls those bodies are not yours you have died you now belong to the father and so there is no other way we belong to shubhava the stage of true children remains very strong their thoughts don't go towards vice at all such children don't accumulate sin if someone uses force on them or harms them they call out baba i belong to you this body is like a corpse 
those whose intellects have such faith claim a very high status that is if they have true hearts the lord would definitely be pleased with those who have such honest hearts here to daughters don't remember baba as much as those who are bitten do their call of being in bondage reaches the father baba free us from this bondage those who are liberated and free from bondage don't remember baba as much as those who are in bondage do only by having remembrance of shri baba will your boat go across some say baba they don't even allow us to read a murli oh but just continue to remember the father this is explained in the murli every day the main thing is to keep a chart of remembrance how long do i remember baba many are unable to make this effort they repeatedly forget to remember baba however the daughters who are in bondage and experience beating remember baba even more it is the greatness of the innocent ones who continue to remember baba while being beaten baba says consider yourselves to be souls and continue to remember the father the more they beat you the more you will continue to become conquerors of attachment the beatings enable you to claim a good status baba remembers such daughters yes some are very good maharathis and self mini people and make them into yogis there is a lot of praise of yoga you have to have mercy for everyone you children refer to the gita they only have in their intellect that god krishna taught raj yoga you say that the supreme father the supreme soul taught raj yoga in order to prove this to them ask them this question what is your relationship with the supreme father the supreme soul you say that he is the father that is the father's order to have yoga with him so that your sins can be absolved don't have yoga with any human beings if the one who is teaching you is a human being you won't benefit in the gita they have mentioned the name of a bodily being we say that the incorporeal supreme father the supreme soul is teaching us yoga you are not defaming anyone you are praising the father however those who explain have to be very clever and wise because even great scholars and pundits come here there is also an army of sanyasis all the heads of them come your children should be so clever that even though you speak very little the arrow strikes them there is no need to say a lot because they have a lot of anger too their army is also big if you receive an invitation from somewhere you can go there your children can understand which one among you can challenge others very well you simply have to explain the meaning of alpha there are just two things alpha the father says remember me and you will become the masters of the world only god alpha the creator can tell you this his heavenly god the father he says remember me and your sins will be absolved your sins won't be absolved by remembering shri krishna where is krishna now he sheds a body and took another one the incarper one is imperishable the whole explanation is about this they have made such a big mistake god speaks i give you the inheritance of the world how could krishna give everyone the inheritance krishna belongs to bharat but it is the whole world that is impure the purifier of all is the incorporeal one all of those things are in your intellects you also have the knowledge of the part of devotion first of all there is the worship of shiv they meet a temple to somnath 
who built such a big temple to Somnath. No one else has the power to do this. Surely, there must have been wealthy people at that time to build such a temple. Your children have now understood that you truly were very wealthy. Such a big temple to Somnath was built. It must have been built by an emperor. The deities were what they worshipped themselves and they then became worshippers. They are the ones who will once again build temples to perform worship. It isn't that only the one Somna temple was built. One started to build it and then many others also did the same. Then many temples were looted. They obtained so much material from just one temple that they took away camel loads. When people attack a country, they try to capture the capital. They then became victorious. It is now in your intellects that Delhi truly was Paristan, means the land of angels. Dharamras established it. Delhi will become the land of angels once again. We are studying Raj Yoga for that. When you listen to these things, your intellects feel intoxicated. You understand that your kingdom is being established. Our name is glorified. It is said, this is an incognito army of non-violence. No one understands such an important meaning. You neither use physical weapons nor the sword of lust. You are the non-violent Shakti army who gains the kingdom with the power of yoga. In order to become the masters of the world, we follow Srimat and remember the one father alone. You know that this play is now coming to an end. It will then begin anew. This is an imperishable play. It never finishes. However, it is certain that when the new world comes into existence, the old world ends. The cycle continues to turn. This is an eternal drama. Just as they say of God that he is present everywhere in the same way, they say this drama continues to turn. All the actors of this drama always exist. You know that the incorporeal world and the corporeal world exist all the time. The cycle goes through the golden and silver ages and then repeats. This is an imperishable drama. We actors also exist in the drama. We all have parts from the beginning to the end. Those are just small dramas that became old. This one never becomes old. Does this imperishable drama ever become old? No. But we do continue to act out our parts. It becomes old from new and then new from old. You know that you truly were kings and queens. You have now become propers. You then became kings from propers. Proper means a religious beggar, fakir. The father comes and shows everyone the path. You should have a lot of intoxication. You are receiving this new knowledge and you only receive it once. You understand that you are establishing your sovereignty over this world by following directions. The father says, remember me and remember your sovereignty. However, there will be those assaults. Assaults are also the suffering of karma. When a man beats a woman, would he do it just like that? You would probably have beaten him as well. That karmic account is being settled. All of this is the account of karma. You are now performing elevated actions by following Srimad. You must no longer perform corrupt actions. The most elevated action of all is to give everyone the father's introduction. You have received the father's order. Constantly remember me alone. Everyone has forgotten the father. They continue to worship Shiv, but they don't know anything. They have also created a big lingam at Amarnath. Is the father's form so big? They don't know anything. Your children have now accurately understood 
all of those things acha to the sweetest beloved long lost and love found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada the spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children the spiritual children says namaste and good morning to the spiritual father essence for the dharna first point always perform elevated actions according to shrimat take care that you don't perform corrupt actions do the service of making many others into yogis second point have an honest heart that body is like a cops therefore renounce having pride in it became a complete destroyer of attachment blessing may your intellect have faith and become victorious by being constantly carefree and aware that victory is guaranteed every cycle explanation the children whose intellect have faith always experience victory in all their worldly work and interaction and in their spiritual work no matter how ordinary the work may be they definitely have a right to victory they never become disheartened in any task because they have the faith that they are victorious every cycle if the ones whose helper is god himself do not have victory then who would no one can prevent this destiny this faith and intoxication makes them carefree slogan always be healthy with the nourishment of happiness and fully happy with the treasure of happiness om shanti invaluable elevated versions of mateshwari ji we see that the cycle is 5000 years and that the cycle repeats identically many people have a question about this the cycle is so big and so how can it be of 5000 years the cycle is of hundreds of thousands of years since something has been found which shows that it is hundreds of thousands of years old how can people accept that the cycle is 5000 years if someone says that the history is of hundreds of thousands of years then say to them how can there be history of hundreds of thousands of years all the upheaval and destruction take place every cycle and all the kingdoms are also destroyed so how can your history be proved how can you know what the accurate history is so this cannot be proven the almighty authority god himself tells us everything accurately and also grants us a vision with divine vision so would we not believe that even if someone has a vision but doesn't have faith in it god himself is telling us personally first of all we have faith in who is teaching us and how the whole world goes around in a cycle we have understood the secret and because of our experience and our practical lives this is why we can say that the cycle is 5000 years we can explain the difference between souls and god that the form of souls and god is the same a form of light the size of souls and the god is the same but there is definitely a difference in the strength of qualities of souls and god all the praise of the virtues belongs to the god god is beyond happiness and sorrow and as the almighty authority he is full of all virtues 16 celestial degrees full and it is of his power that is working the power of human souls does not do that much 
the whole part is of god although god comes to play a part he remains detached when a soul comes to play a part he becomes an actor playing his part although god enters a part he is beyond any bondage of karma when a soul comes to play a part he is bound by the bondage of karma thus is the difference between souls and the god acha om shanti